here we are at the intersection of Caboni Road and South Bay Road and we're going to be hanging a right heading to South Bay. This is where South Bay starts. This is where it begins right by the mailboxes which I'll have to go check. And so this is on top of the hill and as you could see there down there is where the garbage bin is and so we're gonna head down there and see it from that distance and so now we're heading downhill and we're not quite even halfway down the hill yet but here's the coming up to the garbage bin over here and that's where it sits and as I said it looks like it's been emptied and directly down straight down is where the graveside yard is so apparently this is where the old um, the original garbage site was here and in the summertime you'll see garbage everywhere here and although it looks very clean and pristine at the moment it looks very different in the summertime and so and then directly down this way is the grave site. When we were on top of the hill, we were on top of the hill over there somewhere because the house is just over here and this is where the old old dump site was and uh, now it was moved up uh, up the hill there and you could see the sign there that says no dumping garbage take to landfill site in wiki so that's where we'll go. We'll go we're to We're going to turn into the landfill site and we're just going to hang a quick left here and over yonder is the gas station and we just keep turning, 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 turning and here we are by the cross as they say and we're entering into the, the where the landfill site is and it's, uh, it's a little ways down the road here, okay? And so we're entering the gates of where the dump site is and as you can see uh, no dumping right by the doors it's landfill for community members only a, open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and so there's a gate I guess I guess they do close it I haven't been here when it was closed but we're heading down there and of course it says Caution, bears in the area. Who would know, eh? Who would know? And we're getting into the first part of the dump site here. And this is where the blue box, yellow box, um, all kinds of paper stuff. I'll just go in this direction here. And as you can see, there's an old house here. I don't know who, uh, if there's, I've never seen anybody there. But here are all the bins of the of the box of the the cans the papers and stuff like that and apparently somebody comes and picks them up I haven't seen who that is and just swinging over over here we have the tractor here that plows or plows in whatever and so we go into a circle it says garbage bags only and we're just going to zoom around here uh, this looks very different in the in the summertime you know you gotta expect that right and so it just goes around like this and lots of crows lots of garbage lots of what we call the seagulls here and so there's all the trash and it goes a little further back and people just dump anywhere they like and so and as I said this looks very different in the summertime and it goes all the way around all the way around all the way around and people just dump wherever and so that's where I came from from over there down in that direction there and it just circles around comes around this way and that's where people mostly have been dumping and there's garbage all the way over here all the way just all the way down the sides and out that way 
and all of the stuff is like garbage everywhere it's covered with snow right now and in the distance over there is where the other uh, bigger stuff goes apparently I haven't been down that area there but it's huge over there and it goes way back way back over there so just zoom back in and this is where these critters help themselves these little birds all these birds are having a snack uh, we were just on top of the hill over there and all of this is nothing but garbage uh, piled high and so we're going down the road where the heavier stuff is piled. This is, uh, it looks like mattresses, couch, uh, mattresses, couch, yeah, it looks like some fridges, or maybe the fridges are on the other side, but this is mostly mattresses, couches, uh, looks like a TV stand, and on this side over here, we have tires on this side. Of course, they're all buried. And over there is more heavier stuff. And this is where all the heavy stuff goes, I guess. And there's all kinds of stuff here. Uh, wow. There's a TV there, or part of a TV and uh, Christmas tree stuff uh, yes and so it goes all the way around and they pile high on each direction and there's the we were on the other side of this just a few minutes ago and we see uh, people decide to dump on this side over here as well and so there you there's see there's the bins for the uh, cans and papers and things like that but people just end up going to go and dump over at the landfill there because it's a lot easier and so now we're heading out again back from where we had come from and so here we go we're heading out again back to the community all right so this is the Wikwimikong landfill site so this whole area here is South Bay and this is where I'm sitting right now and so I drove to the community that was over on this side over here and that's the other part of the community there, Rabbit Island as they say and so this whole area here is Wikwimikon.